Hello friends on YouTube, thank you very much for tuning into your November readings. I'm hoping that October treated you very well, or is treating you very well if you're viewing this in October. Um, just going to look forward to seeing what my birthday month has in store for you. Just a quick note as well to say thank you so much for the support that I continue to receive. The emails, the likes, the subscriptions, the comments especially, um, the readings that people have asked me to do for them. I feel very privileged that you've asked me to read for you also for my lovely patrons um on patreon um yeah just thank you so much just out of interest i would like to know if you like the current website design that i've done i have a full array of readings now including seeing as we're now approaching the end of 2015 a 2016 year ahead reading um so this is going to be something very special um, it's basically covering the entire 12 months of 2016, including any horoscope activity as well. So planetary alignments, astrology, very key things for you, it will cover those as well. So it's basically a tarot and astrology reading for 2016. So for more details on that, just look on the website. I still have my general readings available, video, Skype, email, those kind of things. And um, hopefully going to be making more updates to the channel, more tarot decks, more um, oracle decks, different things. Maybe some more daily draws, you know, depending on if people respond to them very well. Um, also going to be doing hopefully some more little vlogs and things like that. I just want to be more interactive with you all. So keep a look out. Um... November's quite quiet, but it's a very strong energy, so I'm going to hopefully tap into that and see what's happening. It's almost like a very psychic, deep feeling, um, which is typical for Scorpio. So I'll just have a look at that for you. It's coming up in a moment. See the details below, all appearing on your screen right now for how to get in touch. And I look forward to reading for you. Hello lovely Leos, thank you very much for tuning into your November reading for 2015. Let's have a look and see what's coming up for you. Now, my lovely Leo is arriving in London from New Zealand on Saturday. She's my sister from another mister. So I'm doing this about two days before she's due to land. Um, she goes back just before... Um, the I think it's I think she lands on the first of November actually so this is going to be interesting see what's coming up for all of you and see exactly what's in store for you for the very karmic but very calm karmic month of November for you because it seems like although we have a lot of charged up ready to go action cards here and especially at the end of the month it's all about finding the rounded off energy um, I'll explain more in a little bit. Um, but we have the Rider Weight deck, which has been in use now for a while, giving me super accurate readings. It's amazing, um, because the other decks are actually charging between readings at this point in time, with the lovely crystals around them. And we have the Earth Magic Oracle cards as the general message. Now, they're actually drawing me to that message first. And the message that they bring to you is the fact that you will be illuminated. Now, something here may be something in the back of your mind. You've been kind of had this niggle for a while. You've had this niggle in the back of your head about something in particular. You don't know how to explain it. You don't know what's missing, but you just know something is. And that's going to be coming forwards for you in November. You're going to get the information you need. And you're also going to get the feeling of progression and um, like you've been fulfilled. Full moon, fulfilled. There you go. It's completion for you. It's almost like you see the full picture. If you take the full moon as almost like your iris, you will be able to see in the darkness. You'll be able to see various things. You can, you're just going to be illuminated. And I feel this is a lot as well for most of you Southern Hemisphere folks. Um, you, the, the closer you get to summer, the more you're going to be illuminated to various things. For others, I think you're going to kind of be going more internal. So this is the Northern Hemisphere folks. You're going to be going more internal as the night gets longer so kind of a game of two halves really but the knight of wands to start off everything here is very much a case of making headway with something so it could be this final 
right, now I realise what I need to do, now I realise what I can do, let's figure out how to make this something for my future. So even if you can see, he's got like circles on his uniform, so it could be that he's the knight of the full moon too, you know? And I do get the feeling that you are going to realise what's missing and be able to work towards that. So for instance, if it's, right, I need $2,000 in order to make the changes necessary, I'm going to save $50 every week, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do this. It's almost like you have a game plan in your mind, but the key to this is the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands working together. So as much as you want to burst forwards and have everything wonderful, you have to put the effort in and you have to put the pragmatic side in, the practical side. You need to understand, uh, for instance, what is superfluous and what you need to achieve. So it's almost like... Um, I don't need to run out and buy the lamp that looks really pretty that will go in my living room. It's it's simple. I know it's something that will really make the, the house nice. And I know it's something that will really give you some pleasure. But at the same time, wouldn't achieving your dreams give you the most pleasure? I know that bit's boring. I know saving up and waiting is quite frustrating. Especially when you've got this two nights in the first two weeks. Really charged up energy. Go get an energy. And the last thing you're probably going to want to be doing is sitting at home thinking, yeah, but in my diary I really need to do this. But I think it's just important that you do that and have a look and see what you can achieve just by doing the smaller things. So, for instance, if you want to move country, try and figure out the best way of doing that. Waiting, patience, is the best ally you can have. But knowing when not to wait anymore is also a very honed skill that I believe you're going to learn um, because the Knight of Swords is all about intelligence it goes really fast and the energy of this month apart from the third card is all about your mind racing you are going to be thinking of other things how do I do this, how do I do that, how do I do this am I going to get a job, am I going to you know, it's, it, you're going to probably be yabbling about 50 words a second but there is needing to be a pace, a pace here a really strong pace of movement, emotion, and stabilizing yourself. Because if you feel like you're renewing yourself in a way, you understand where things fit now, you can now move forwards and get what's coming to you, basically, what you want. Um, for instance, I'm going to use the book analogy because that's very close to me. Um, I have finished a book. I'm editing it. Something has been niggling at me and it's been missing. And I'm like, how, what am I doing? What is the purpose of this book? It's only when I detached myself from it emotionally and looked at it as what I could strip back to the bare bones. What was the core? What was the kind of lead pipe? Run it, what was the bone running through my story? What was the skeleton of it? What would, did I want to say? And then I could put everything else onto it that made it more attractive, you know? The scenes, the little tweaks and the quirks and the, the various, you know, fleshy words. This is almost like for you, in the third week especially, trying to find out what the messages are that you want to get out there and what the messages are that are being sent to you. You need to kind of slow down in the third week after all this energy and kind of go, right, okay, take a breath let's get my diary, let's see what's coming up, let's see how I can do this, when is the right time for me to make this change, and then you can go and work towards that, because change won't happen overnight, I know some people wish it would, but I think if you, for instance, if you stuck out another 12 months doing what you're doing now, you're probably going to get a better result than if you did it straight away, because it would only be temporary, I don't think it would go as well as it would do, so it's all about making sure that the timing's right and understanding that this really intense flow of energy is only going to be temporary. It's going to get you to the right place to carry on working. Um, and it's almost like, again, to put it in a white writer's block. This intense energy is where you can create. This intense energy is where you can really focus. You're going to get writer's block again eventually. <laughs> um, happens to us all. And you're going to be... Hmm, you're really going to be pushing it. And I say pushing it in the nicest of way. You're going to be trying too hard to work past the blockage. If there's a block there, it means you have to address something. 
if you come to a standstill, it means that you have to address something to go around it. And this is going to head into December for you. I do think the Page of Cups brings you the solution to that writer's block, so to speak, you know, metaphorically. And then you go hit the ground running, really, in the last week of November. It's really strong energy for you here, Leo. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what December holds for you. The end of the year is very strong time. It's all about reflection and looking at various things. Um, so it's going to be a time of, I think, as well trying to figure out where you go from there with all this excess energy left over from November but I do have 2016 readings available now on my website and they come in email format or video format um, they're very focused on you so they go from your individual chart from astrology and also the tarot reading um, for the general months as well but it isn't basically dedicated to you it can be for various different sectors you know like work friends but you know most of them are going to be just general readings for everybody um looking into you know love life relationships all that kind of thing if you would like to donate there's a button now on my website as well as the other readings that are available facebook twitter every way to contact me is down below my etsy shop i think i'm going to open up again in the future um, but for now i'm really really looking forward to hearing what happens for you and um I look forward to hearing from you soon and reading for December.